So, um, I just <coughs> had to go pee. It's now 6.25 a.m. So, I caught this, that lesbian gang stalking dyke. I, I mean, that homeless lame gang stalking dyke. Freaking, um, I didn't know if, um, it's like she robbed the opportunity to try to come over and buy my stuff. Um, while I had to go to the bathroom. And it's like, damn, this is my first night trying to come over on this side and being violent. I'm being violated already. So she was like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know you were back there. I was just looking for a plug-in. Okay, so this is the same spot where those Masonic gang stalkers falsely accused me of trying to steal electricity. So how come for her to charge her phone over here? I mean, it's not her phone. It's some device she's charging. How come it's not stealing electricity? And other homeless people, when I started charging my phone over here, um, I started to charge my phone over here, and then other homeless people followed suit. And the all the times the police passed by here, and the police had never told me anything. So, um, see, that's that's what that's what I mean. I mean, I didn't even know if she would have. I mean, she always acted weird and gaslit me, and I could never get her, almost never get her on camera. So, um, I hope she didn't put her hands on my stuff. But it looks like nothing was taken. But, you know, I freaked out about her even being over on this area. So, when I went to go pee, um, they had a white Jeep that was further down the other side of the street. I had to go pee so bad, um, I almost didn't make it. And so then um, the person in the white Jeep brighted their lights near me. And then when they passed by me, they turned up their music real loud. And then they have, I thought it was a guy, but it was actually um, a female. Um, it was actually a female that had, um, it was actually a female that had, um, you know, was sitting in that Ford Fusion over there, but I don't know. I mean, she's sitting in that Ford Fusion. She's sleeping, but she, the car is turned off now, but I don't know if she, um, I, I don't know if, if, if she was drunk and maybe sleeping there. Oh, I don't know if she's homeless living in her car. Well, she doesn't look like it because her car doesn't look like it got stuff in it. So I don't know if she might be just drunk for the night, you, you know. But they have perps who would um, pretend to be homeless and their car is empty. And um, they would come sleep near me in their car. But if I were to have a car and be homeless living in my car, um, they probably would tow my car or something, or I would kind of get a, get a ticket or something if I would have parked where they parked and sleep if I had a car. So, um, yeah, this is my first time over here tonight. I'm, I mean, last, from last night and this morning. Yeah, how come it ain't called ele stealing electricity when other people are over here? Or, or, I mean, when other people, um, other homeless, when they charge their phone, it's not stealing electricity. I mean, I didn't even know. I was just trying to charge my phone to be safe, and I wasn't even trying to be a thief. Yeah, she must be gone because maybe maybe the thing didn't work. Because she, she's gone now, you know. Um, and I think she might be a training lesbian because she, she acting like she tried to... Um, make her voice sound like a man. I mean, I freaked out the fact that she was even over here. So, um, and my back is still itchy. Yeah, I mean, I'm still got like a lot of stuff on my mind. You know, the fact that you thought someone was a TI friend 
who secretly believe the slander campaign campaigns about you and stuff like that, you know, I finally get to scratch my back. You see me in this corner right here. So um, I've got very little sleep, probably less than an hour of sleep. Or probably, yeah, about an hour or less than an hour of sleep. So I'm definitely sleep deprived. So I don't even know where she came at. I'm freaked out. I'm very freaked out. So um, obviously other perps know where I'm at too because the employees from the restaurants, they were parked here. And, you know, I showed y'all video footage of them um, perping and riding by and stuff. So, um... So, I mean, but as I said, like, you're supposed to be targeted like me. You think it's a form of punishment to, to throw the smear campaigns in my face. You, the gang stalking smear campaigns, you throw them in my face once we get into an argument or get mad. Or, or you brag about how you went and um, or you, I end up seeing that person go on my twin sister's page and stuff. You know, so it seemed like my twin sister toned it down and left me alone for a while. But the cult follow her, her cult followers, and Trisha's cult followers, are um, you know, still harassing me. And I had a night recently. I mean, I just woke up from a bad dream, a nightmare about Trisha. So um, and I forgot what the dream was about. So it looked like the rain is trying to start back up again. I mean, with the Darius guy, what he did was, um, see, when I took down the GoFundMe because they bullied me so bad with the GoFundMe, was it last year before I quit my job? And then I felt like, well, I was working and had a job, so I thought, figured I thought I didn't need the GoFundMe no more, and I didn't foresee being bullied off the job and workplace mob. So um, he was like, oh, man, why, why you kept it up there? I, I mean, he, no, he said, no, oh, man, why you took it down? Why you, why you didn't keep it up there? And I said, well, they bullied me too bad and stuff. You know, he's like, yeah, you, you should have kept it up there. So, so, um, so then, like, the first time me and him blocked each other, like, in last May in, in 2021, one of the first things he did was undo my pin, un, like, uh, un, he unretweeted my pin tweet, you know, asking for my fundraiser, asking for help. And when I found that out, that really bothered me. I'm like, oh, no, does he believe the slander campaigns about me, too? But I think I confronted him about that, too, and I forgot what his response was. But he tried to make it like as if he, nobody can fool him and, and he knows that I'm a real T.I. and that nobody could ever, um, you know, sway or brainwash him you know against me and, and that he, he knew I was re really targeted so then you know that really shocked me that um narcissistic tell-off email you know I felt like I needed to get this talk you know I needed to doggone vent more and still trying to process and figure things out you know so, I mean, everybody thinks I deserve to be just punished, and I've been punished and deprived, and y'all still call me entitled. I'm like, well, wow, Darius even acknowledged in the beginning that we targeted individuals that we are utterly deprived. And he has acknowledged before that I'm, you know, very much deprived in the fact that they deprive me of every, so much and that they give me less than everybody else. Um, or th it's like... Now he, and that's, he, him and Mr. Samantha were the reasons why I wrote that article on Medium, but now they wrongfully banned me from Medium.com, so I can't go on there no more. And so, um, I said how they, how to, um, you know, your, your, they, after they turn against you and betray you, 
they switch their whole entire narrative about you. And sometimes they do act like as if they always believe such and such bad thing about you. Well, you were never a friend in the first place. And then talking about, you ought to consider me a parent of a friend. You lucky I forgave you. You lucky I forgave you. You, you ought to consider me a parent of a friend. Because most people aren't so forgiving. Yes, you knew you did me wrong as a friend. Well, you ain't no rarity of a friend if you're faker than everybody else. And so I had to vent that because it was bothering me. You know, a rarity of a friend, um, they wouldn't see me being bullied and then make it like as if I'm the one who caused the drama and brought it on myself. Like, in the beginning, he used to go to bat for and defend me and go out of his way to help me. He used to support me. He even donated to me a few times. And I helped him out with certain things, too. I thought we were good friends. So he was the one who pulled away, secretly pulled away and started man being manipulative. And then, you know, he falsely accused me of perping him and making money off of him. And stuff he didn't reveal that to me until the end of right before I went by Trisha I was shocked at that like what what the hell would make you say that talking about that everybody who talks to him gets paid all you got to do is say hello to him and, and, they, and they end up getting paid you know but I really think he's a compromised perp using projection because no I felt like he was perping me um, when he, like, he started to act like my twin sister, no wonder, because he was secretly watching her videos, so he made, he made it like as if, okay, um, I was forbidden to talk about Aaliyah or, you know, a few other certain topics was off limits, that, but he, you know, acting like, he he eventually used, I mean at first he used to let me let me talk about any and everything but then I figured that he was sounding like he was listening to my twin sister too, a little too much and wow things been revealed so it looked like it was he was talking with another person about Aaliyah and her Beyonce on June 26th was was thank Horlanika from the Masonic Smelly Craft family birthday you know and I figure oh you perping me so I mean on Twitter so so I mean and that was four days after he called me so I could have I could have perceived that oh you were perping me so um he might have been so he might be like I didn't even know June 26th was, Len was Lenika's birthday but he'll get mad at me if I bring up Lenika but oh any other craft family member I could talk about them and he'll listen Oh, but Lanika is off limits. Like, how you knew to do that? Because you've been listening too much to my twin sister. Wow. And he secretly pulled away from me. You're not going to be a righteous, holy Bible believer and, you know, do all that to me and be a real target and start acting like a perp because you falsely assumed that I perped you. And so, um, and I also felt like he was perping me when he tried to tell me God doesn't want you driving or God doesn't want you with the car and if he did he would have been blessed you with a car and then say well I don't know where you are in your walk with God and a few a few um oh that's a dog on perp over there uh, then a few um a, a few it's like a few minutes later he he said um oh well if if I if I'm I'm gonna be homeless on the streets myself and and um he, he said I'm gonna get me a car if it's cold in winter I'm gonna go get me a car and I'm like did he just say that after he told me God doesn't want me with a car but then he, but then like in the beginning you, you know he would make it like he didn't want me with a car or didn't want me driving and so he tried to say well um. You know, oh, no, no, because I know what I said, well, how, Darius, how come you don't want me driving? Or how come you don't want me with a car? Oh, because I know what would happen if I get a car. So um, he tried to say that they would set him up in some car accident or whatever, or if, if, he, if he got a car. So, um, so, 
So, I mean, I don't know. It seemed like he played all kinds of games. But it seemed like he was – it looked like he had proof of himself still being targeted, though. But he took down his – I mean, I'm sorry, he didn't take down his videos. He, he stopped doing as much videos about his targeting. Um, he stopped showing much footage about his targeting. He is, you know, so arrogant and puffed up about this fake divine mission that, that he got. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be deceptive to your opinions about a, a friend, even if I'm e emotionally extremely sensitive, and he even would acknowledge that. Oh, you know, I know you're emotionally fragile. That's how he said fragile. You know, I'm emotionally fragile and stuff, but. He wouldn't like to be discredited or for not to be believed, but, you know, he, it's like, I don't know, it seemed like as if he turned around and make it like as if he doubted everything I told him or didn't believe anything I said, and it's, it's like, after all the gang stalking proof every day, and, and he acting like he was trying to get me to take down my videos and stop being social with everybody and just stick to myself. Like, he wanted me to be socially isolated. And now it's like he wanted me to be socially isolated and deprived. And he tried to tell me I should take a hiatus from social media and all, you know. And then after he turned against me and betrayed me, he started using Twitter even more and being social, like, as if he rubbed it in my face that he got better friends or more friends and stuff. It's like all these freaking mind games. So, um, and, and the fact that he think he can freaking discipline and punish somebody that's eight years older than him. He was actually nine going on 10 when I turned 18. You were still in elementary school. I had, I was already an adult. So, you, you know, he didn't, um, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know why he scapegoated me from him. He getting hit by a car and treated me like a punching bag and dump all his anger and hostility onto me when, you know, he didn't go off on that Deborah lady. He didn't tell her, all, her and her family. He didn't tell them off. Well, if he did, he didn't tell me that. You know, he started to act strange as a doggone friend. You know, and I know y'all gonna, I mean, if you're, tired, if you're tired of hearing about it, I think one person got hateful and unsubscribed yesterday. But, you know, I'm just venting my emotions about this ongoing so-called off and on fake friendship with another person who's supposed to be a targeted individual. Why, why you pulling away and act like a perp? And then falsely accused me of perping and making you my meal ticket and, and making money off of you. But as I said, he'll give other people another chance or be, or if he said Jamal Watkins or Al Showers were get, well, that they were fake T.I. perps or that they were perps, um, he's, he didn't block, well, he didn't block, at least didn't block Jamal and he let Jamal in his circle. And he, he was following people on Twitter that I know for sure are fake T.I. perps. And also um, that lovely lady too, she had been commenting on this dog on YouTube. And I'm like, shut up about your targeting, lovely lady, too. When you, if you were a true targeted individual, you wouldn't be siding with my twin sister and discrediting me. And you would know, you would see and know my gang, the gang stalking tactics that I have, that I've been showing y'all every day, every day. I show the gang stalking every day and still get falsely accused of being a fake and a perp, and I don't perp anyone. So I put up a picture about being, you know, messed over with the broccoli. And then they had a fake T.I. perp try to falsely accuse me of perping him about broccoli. Um, Trevor something. I, I, I forgot what, he, what his name was. And so he falsely accused me of perping him. So I blocked him. I'm like, you decided to come eight, exactly 18 hours after my post. You came 18 hours later and said well, you were the first one on my feed. I'm like, how am I on the first on your feed when we're not following each other on Twitter? How, how am I the first on your, on your feed and we're not following each other on Twitter? And I don't even think anybody had retweeted that. 
Maybe they did. I don't know. But how how was I on your feed, and we weren't even following each other on Twitter? But I, I'm I'm sick. I myself am sick of all the mind games. And ever since what I went through with Darius, they've been gang stalking me even heavier. And that's what happens with all you know so-called targeting individuals that I can if I have an argument with. And he even acknowledged on Tuesday night that you know they're retaliating against us. For, for coming together and that the gang stalkers don't want us targets to come together. While Darius himself acted like he wanted to me to be punished with social isolation and total deprivation. And that's the perps again in that truck. I can't even, um, it's a dark gray truck that keeps following around. So, and I thought that he would have seen me as, you know, trying to better myself and trying to get out of my situation. But then he wait till after he get mad and perform a perp tactic, you know, and trying to tell me off about myself. And, you know, I mean, at least one person said that that him trying to say that about me, you know, using my traumas as a weapon against me because I have no reason to play games or anything. But he tried to compare us like narcissistic guys have. You know, they would compare me to a, one of their female lovers that they don't like or, or compare me to their ex-wife. Carnell would try to compare me to his baby mama. You know, retarded, deformed Carnell. <clears throat> Carnell, Kenneth Sorrells. <clears throat> you know, I didn't even realize they, <clears throat> that they sent Carnell in my life to perp me. Of all people, Carnell... I thought Carnell, Carnell must be perfect for free because he's living underneath his adoptive mama and doesn't have his own place, but try to tell me I should go get my own place. You know? And Carnell acted a certain kind of weird. You know, but when, when religious narcissists try to say it's not by accident that God put us two to meet together, run like, a, run like the plague. So, um, I'm just doggone venting. Um, if this helps keep my dog on sanity and help me, I mean, so I won't end up losing my mind or having a meltdown or lashing out or nothing, you, you know, and I'm glad I was able to have at least a two day break in the hotel to, to be able to recuperate and kind of gather myself together in, mentally mentally and emotionally and all that. It's like other professed target individuals, they fuck up your health more than the gang stalkers. <clears throat> so, you, you know, I'm, I'm just saying I can't believe he, he secretly treated me like this all this time and that he did this to me. And, and it's like, if I've been sh consistent with showing my videos, oh, stop doing, stop doing videos, stop doing videos, or you, you know, stay, get off YouTube, or don't use YouTube no more, or it's not good for you. And so then, um, but I've been sometimes get frustrated and want to leave YouTube myself because it seemed like as if, as if I'm showing my gang stalking proof in vain but at the same time I do this for my safety and security um and I can't believe that all the footage I show y'all still believe that Candy's the perp or Candy's not a real targeted individual and then they want to be like oh yeah I believe Brandy because Brandy is um said Candy's faking but if, if I was a fake target why are you calling me schizophrenic and then pretending like you're the one who's being targeted and then laugh about it and mock me and other people doing the same thing. So I feel like if you think that Candy Grand Prix is not a real targeted individual and you see me physically in the, I mean, you see me being persecuted and harassed and then you falsely accuse me of not being targeted but being a perp and then falsely accuse me of feigning being targeted for money and sympathy, that's what all the damn gang stalkers say about me. So Darius, you the perp. 